So lately I've been getting a few comments on my Instagram, people telling me what lens do I use for my music videos, so that's what we're going to talk about today, so let's get it. What's up guys, my name is Mario, so if you guys are new here, consider subscribing, and in today's video, as we talked about, we're going to talk about the three lenses that I use for... 95% of my music videos, which is basically all my music videos. So these are the lenses that I'm using If I can hold them because these are huge, but these are the three lenses that I use for all my music videos They're all Sigma art. These lenses are the 50 to 100 f 1.8 18 to 35 f 1.8 and the 24 mil 1.4 So we're gonna talk about each lens individual why I use them and of course from there I mean, hopefully I can help you guys decide on what lens you guys want to buy in case you guys are shooting music videos and you guys are looking for a lens at the moment. So let's start off with the 50 to 100. And before I start talking about this lens right here, I definitely want to talk about why I only go on Sigma route, why I only own Sigma lenses, not Canon, not Panasonic, because I shoot with Panasonic, but I have the EF mount. So the reason why I own nothing but Sigma R lenses is because one, they're cheap, Two, they're very sharp, and three, most of their lenses are really good in low light, and for the quality and the build of these lenses. So yeah, let's just uh, let's start talking about this lens. So the 50 to 100, this is overall 100% of the time it's gonna be in all my shoots is gonna be used as a B-roll or performance shot. So what I love about this lens and why I use it on all my shoots is it's 50 to 100, so you can zoom in. It's very versatile. Two, I know a lot of you guys might be saying this is a crop sensor lens, that's true, but if you own a Sony or a Panasonic, then you're able to crop in in that camera to go to Super 35 mode, which will allow you to use this. And for me, I could care less about having a full frame. I just want to be able to use this lens because of what it offers. So what I normally use this for is, if case I want to hide the background, I don't like the look of it, I'm able to punch in a 100 mil or 85 somewhere around there and it's gonna allow me to blow out the background so anything that i don't want to show on camera this allows me to do that another thing i love about this lens is this right here so you're able to use a prism and cool effects like that you zoom this at 100 you're able to get great effects built in you know with a wide angle lens you can't do that so that's another good thing about this lens right here it's very versatile and another thing that I like to use it for is all my b-roll if you want to get tight of like the eyes or their face or emotion this lens allows you to do that it's very clutch actually when I started shooting music videos at the start what I normally did was hire a second camera operator I had him use this lens strictly for b-roll any close-up details while I'm getting the wide shots so this lens is just overall a must-have in at least in my camera bag and if you guys are definitely looking for that type of lens i would definitely highly recommend you guys to go with this one it is definitely underrated people don't talk about it i don't know why but i would definitely vouch for this lens and tell you guys to get it and the next lens i'm going to talk about is the sigma 18 to 35 the reason why i do this is because they're built good and if they were to fall I don't know if they'll break or not, but it feels like they're built good. So the first thing I'm going to talk about with 18 to 35 is the bokeh, the depth of field. You're able to go down to 1.8. You're not really going to get too much bokeh because it's a wide lens, so you really can't get too much out of it. But it's very versatile. This lens is really clutch. I use this a lot on my shoots. Normally, it got replaced here and there by the Sigma 24 that I'll talk about a little later. But this 18 to 35 is really clutch, versatile, as I mentioned. What I, one thing I love about this lens, though, is the internal zoom. So if you use this on any gimbal, then just know that you're able to zoom in and you don't have to rebalance the gimbal. So that itself saves you a lot of time and it's pretty cool that you have a different variety in terms of focal range to, to play from and just for the set. So this lens is pretty clutch. The price on it is obviously cheap. So that's another good thing about this lens. The downfall on this, just like the 50 to 100, it's not for me, but maybe for a lot of people or a lot of you guys, is it's a crop sensor lens as well, sadly, but again i use the s1h or i use the cinema so cinema is already super 35 so i'm able to use this if you use like the s1h panasonic or any full frame unless you guys have the mode such as myself with the s1h i'm able to drop down to a super 35 mode so i'm able to use this lens some cameras don't allow you to do that but i know for panasonic you can't so if you have a full frame sensor you could drop it down to 35 mil and you're able to use this lens so it's definitely worth have it in your camera bag because it's very versatile and the last lens and i'm gonna keep doing that it probably gives you a heart attack on huh? because it gives me one if i drop it right now in front of the camera that'll be so stupid but i have it as a memory but now uh realistically it is a 
the Canon. I was really gonna say Canon. It is a Sigma 24mm 1.4 art lens. This baby right here is my workhorse. This kind of replaced the 18 and 35 for the most part. I still bring that and I still use that, but this baby right here is just, I mean, it's beautiful. I love what it provides. It's prime, so we all know it's a lot sharper. It's smaller, so you know, it's less weight for me to carry in my bag. The low light as well, but this time you can drop down to 1.4, so the 18 to 35 is only 1.8. So this one allows me to, you know, drop down. So in case I need that extra little bit of light, this allows me to do it. It's a full frame lens, so I'm actually able to use a full sensor out of the S1H. So that's cool to know. Of course, for B-roll, it crops in, so that's the negative with the S1H, but that's another topic, another story. So with this lens, I use it for gimbal shots. I also use it to implement scenery. So, you know, let's just say I'm shooting a music video and there's like a mansion, and I wanna get B-roll of that. I will use this. If I wanna get, you know, detail of something else, I'm able to get this. This lens, basically you can shoot a whole music video with this lens because you're able to get really close and you're able to get really wide. So you're able to get it all with this lens. It's really good at focusing really up close. I do not recommend this shooting really up close with people because it kind of distorts their face a little bit. Unless you know have, you have like a crop sensor camera, then it doesn't matter because it ends up going close to a 35 mil. So you're not really gonna see too much distortion. But if you're using it on a full frame, I will not get close, but you can get close enough and you're able to get wide shots. So you're able to get the most with this lens. I've always been a fan of the 24 mil, especially the 1.4, as I mentioned, because the bokeh. And it's just overall the sharpness of this lens. It's just amazing to have. So those are the three lenses that I use for my music videos. Basically, 100% of the time, it is those three lenses, which is awesome. I kind of narrowed everything down. I have a bunch of primes for Sigma. I have the 85, I have the 105. Wait, I don't have the 85. I have the 105 mil, I have the 50, the 35, which I'm using right now. I have uh, the zoom lenses. I have a lot of Sigma art lenses, but those three are the ones that I know for a fact it's gonna help me do the job, what I need to deliver, what I need to capture. I'm able to cover all focal ranges within those three lenses. So that's why I use those lenses and they don't cost a lot. They're heavy, but they don't cost a lot, opposed to like the actual Panasonic lenses or the Canon lenses. So that's why I go with Sigma lenses. But anyways, hopefully this video was able to help you guys in case you guys were looking into buying new lenses. Those three are the ones that I'll definitely vouch for and the ones that I use every single one of my shoots. I'm not just throwing you guys random lenses. These are the ones that I actually use. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys. Also, my name is Mario. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. Drop it a like if you guys love this video and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.